Hey, I'm Todd, and in today's video, we are going to take a look at the Oracle Cloud OS Management Service. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about the Oracle Cloud OS Management Service. We're going to talk about what it is. We're going to talk about software sources and some of the other features of the OS Management Service. So what is it? The Oracle Cloud OS Management Service provides tools for common OS management tasks for compute instances, focusing initially on managing software packages for Oracle Linux instances. OSMS is an agent-based service. The agent must be installed on your instances in order for this service to operate. Now, OSMS enables you to monitor the packages installed on your instances, search for and add or remove packages, and update existing packages when updates become available. A compute instance that is managed by OSMS is referred to as a managed instance. A managed instance can be managed individually or can be grouped for management activities. Instance groups enable you to manage instances according to your needs. For example, you can group instances by operating system or by their purpose, for example, web servers. If you manage many instances, using instance groups is a powerful way of installing and updating packages or managing software sources. Keep in mind that bulk operations for groups can only be successful if each instance in the group is on the same OS release and version. OSMS uses software sources to provide packages to instances and to track the available updates to those packages. A software source is simply a collection of packages, basically like a yum repo. Software sources enable you to control which packages can be installed on instances without having to manually log in and configure the repositories on each instance. Standard software sources are provided in the root compartment of your tenancy. When OSMS is enabled for an instance, the default software sources for the operating system are added to the instance. Now you can add or remove software sources as needed. OSMS provides a search facility that you can use to check individual common vulnerabilities and exposures, known as CVEs, to determine the level of exposure in your tenancy. CVEs provide standard names for publicly known security vulnerabilities and exposures that are cataloged in a dictionary type format for reference. The CVE search facility in OSMS enables you to search for a CVE to see the packages and instances affected by the CVE and to push out package updates to instances to patch them. Let's take a look at how you actually use OSMS. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a dynamic group within our tenancy. Now this dynamic group must contain all of the instances that you would like to be managed by OSMS so a really easy way that I like to do that is to create a dynamic group that captures all instances by a compartment ID. The next thing you'll need to do to use OSMS, and this is very important, you'll need to create some policy statements and apply those to that dynamic group that you just created. Now here are the three policies that you will need to create, and you simply create these and apply them and you'll be good to go to use OSMS. The final thing that you'll need to do is to install the agent on all of your instances. And this is again, is a very simple process. It's simply a matter of logging into those machines and running sudo yum install OSMS agent. Once this is done, you will need to wait about 60 to 90 minutes for the agent to be ready to collect data and to work with your instance. And when that happens, after that 60 to 90 minutes, you'll be able to log into your instance and view the instance details, and you'll see a new link in the sidebar called OS Management. Click on that link and you will see some available updates as far as security and bugs and things like that. And you'll also have a menu to look a little bit further. So let's dig into that. Let's take a look at what that looks like in a live console. All right, so let's take a little more detailed look at the OS management service. I'm logged into the Oracle Cloud console dashboard here, 
and as you can see I'm at the compute instances page so I have a list of all my instances so let's jump into one of the instances that I have installed the OS management agent on and in this case uh, I have a Oracle Linux 7.7 .7 instance and if I click on OS management here I get a quick overview of the packages and available updates for this system. So as you can see here I have in this case 10 available security updates and 42 bug updates for this particular instance. I can instantly apply all the updates or the security updates from this menu here. I can also view some details about the OS management service for this instance if I click on view OS management details. But as I said OS management is a little more powerful if we work with instances in a group. So let's do that. Let's create a group and let's manage some instances in a group. So if we come to the hamburger menu and select compute and go to OS management, the first page that we'll get taken to is the instance groups list page. So all of our groups that we've created will be listed here in the OS management section of the dashboard. So before we get into creating a group, I want to show you two quick things here. So we talked a little bit about software sources. And if we click on software sources over here, we'll see that there are no software sources listed. And that is because all of our software sources, as I said earlier, are stored in our root compartment. So these are all the software sources by default that are going to be available for all of your instances. And if we wanted to create an additional one, we could do that by clicking create software source. The other thing I want to show you here is the CVE search functionality. So if we wanted to view details regarding a specific CVE, we could come to this section and we could search for that particular CVE and view details. So let's go back to the instance groups page. The first thing I want to do here is create an instance group that we can use to manage our instances that we've installed the OS management agent on. So the only thing I need to do is give it a name. I can optionally give it a description and uh, choose which compartment I want to store that in. So I'll choose the demo compartment and I'll click create group. Once that group is created, we can view the details for that group and we can add our individual instances to that group. If we click add manage instances, all of the instances that have the OS management agent are going to be listed here and we can add those to this group. And we're now able to manage these instances as a group. So if we come back to the instance groups list page, we can see that we have all of these options available to us. We can install packages, remove packages, install updates, or install all package updates, and we can add software sources, remove software sources. So the first thing I want to show you is the ability to add a single software package to all of the instances within this group. I'm going to install a very simple package called Banner. And the only thing that this package will do is print out a simple banner in kind of this ASCII art style. And that's all it does. But it's a good package to demo here. So I'll show you here that I have two instances, both of the instances in this group. And you can see that Banner is not currently installed on either of these instances. So if we come back over to here and we say install package, we can then search for the Banner package and we can get that installed on all of the instances in our group. So we've searched for the Banner package and we can choose that. We can choose to install that now or we can schedule that for installation at a later date and time. In this case, we'll just go ahead and install it now and when we click install package, we're taken to the work request page. Now this is where a history of all the work requests, any activity done in your particular tenancy are going to be listed on this work request page. If we wanted to view details, we could click into a particular work request and we can see that this installation of banner has already succeeded on the instance listed here. And if we click into the other work request for our other instance, we can see that that is now succeeded as well. That means we can now come back over to our instances and we can see that banner has been installed on both of our instances. So we've quickly and easily installed a package to both instances in our group 
without any kind of headache. The other thing we could take a look at here is the ability to update all of our packages. So if we come back to the instance group list page and we see the install all package updates option, we can choose that option. And at this point, we can actually schedule this update to keep our packages up to date on all of our instances. So if we wanted to create a schedule for every Sunday at 3 p.m., we could choose to do that and we can have that repeat every week. So once we create that schedule, this job will run every week at that schedule time and it will keep all of our packages up to date in all of our instances in that group. The OS management service, a really handy way to install packages and keep your software up to date on all your instances in the Oracle Cloud. So if you like this video and would like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube.